Hello everyone, this is Nintendo2 here, and, oh, lag spike, and I'm here today to show you the, oops, forgot which numbers they were, sorry, so unprofessional, the 12, uh, 2012 week 38 alpha tech, uh, snapshot, so let's turn around and look at all the features we had, I fell in my hole, so now you can already hear that my footsteps sound way different than they used to. Um, that's because uh, C418 actually added a few little sounds and added to the Minecraft experience. So, let me just open up this chest and grab these leaves. And here, you can already hear the sound. When you step on it, it makes this little leafy trample sound. And if these lag spikes will stop consistently happening, which probably won't happen, uh, I can actually walk around on these. And when you place a plant type block see these have the same sound uh, it'll also make a different sound as well see it sounds like you're patting down a bed of leaves and the break sound is the same so you don't need to worry about that let's remove that item next let's move on to the uh, stones you can hear that it sounds different than it did before less blocky more like a boot on some stone or on concrete and let's grab our few stuff and when you put down a stone block or any stone property block it'll sound like this see how it's kind of like like the regular place down but it kind of like has a little like thing at the end yeah now let's move on to the sand now the sand sounds like mud now it sounds like mud, and it's really disgusting and gross. Oh, and you can walk around in it, and it sounds really mushy. And when you place down the sand, it sounds like you just like, I don't know, like a slimish kind of thing. Kind of a slime landing in sand. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like quicksand. Quicksand, yes. Now let's move on to the gravel. Now it's a little bit different. Kind of like a mixture between the stone, new stone and the new sand, and the old grass. Can you hear that? Yeah. And it's, this is all its completely own sound for gravel. And we place down a gravel block. See, it kind of sounds like you're pouring it out of a bag or something. It's kind of sloshing around. There it is again. Again. And, and now soul sand is the same as sand. Makes that squishy sound. And just, you know, works to shame. So let's remove those guys from my inventory. Now, wood also sounds completely different. Sounds like you're stepping on a more hollow and deck kind of wood. And you're also wearing boots again. And you can see I'm not wearing anything. So it must be my tennis shoes reenacting this sound. Let's take this oak wood. Now, oak wood sounds different and reacts differently when you pl place it. See? Has that little creak sound at the end of it. There we go. Now we got it. Nope. Okay. And when you place it down, it changes differently. Instead of being placed like a piston where you have to stand sideways, you actually just click on a side of a block to change its orientation. So we place it on the bottom. Face straight up. But if you want it placing sideways, you place it on the side of a block. There we have it. And it also depends on which side it is, because if it's on this side, it'll face that way. If it's on this side, it'll face this way. And same with planks. Yeah. And let's remove this. And look, another piece of oak wood. We... I was going to demonstrate the same thing here, but I guess I already did that. So now we also have a different ladder sound, and... See? Sounds like we're kind of like nailing it in as well as pressing it against the wall. And when you climb it, sounds all rickety rackety. It's kind of a metal sound, not really a wood sound. But I guess that accomplishes for nails. I don't really like it. So now we also have. Did you hear that? Yeah. The cow mood. With like a real sounding moo. Let's punch it to get to walk. Oh, it breathed too. It huffed. It kind of stomps with the sound. And we also have the pig. He doesn't make any new snort sounds, but when you punch him and he starts walking around, he has a hoof sound, kind of. 
and you're not supposed to be in this cage, sir. And if I can get some eggs out real quick, let's see, we need the zombie. If I can hit backspace, uh, zombie skelly. And finally, the Enderman. Now, these guys have different sounds as well. And now, if he walks around... See? Can I have a fleshy kind of step, bone crack sound? Now, if we move on to the skellies... If he walks... See, he kind of has like a stepping in a pile of bones sound. And he shoots when you hit him now. Oh. What was... <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. Anyways, now for the Enderman. I can't necessarily hear it, but the change page does say it has a change. I don't know what it is. Honestly. You guys tell me? Oh, his eyes are so white when he looks at you. Yeah, nothing's different. Scaredy cat, he was always. And now we also have the new passive mob, the bat. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Da 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 da. You got the night potion vision. No, night vision potion. <laughs> Let's walk in. Now we can already see these guys. Now they spawn in dark caves or just dark places, really. They hang on the ceiling of your caves or house or whatever. And when you walk near them, they actually start flying around and freaking out. Now, it's really dark in this cave down here. So, mom's going to start spawning in there, too. And, it's... Now, our surprise mob has disappeared, and I've completely given it away. Yes, it's a witch. She, she looks just like a villager, except she's got a little hat with a little trinket on top. And her nose has a wart. See that? See that? She's wearing a purple robe. Now, if I attack her, she starts throwing potions at me. She just threw a potion of poison. That was a potion of weakness. See? And she also affected herself, because I was just standing right in front of her face. So that's a good tactic, I guess. And everything's so loud. Oh, gosh. Okay, I could even hear myself there for a second. Eh. Can I hurt you? Yes, I can. Now, she doesn't drop anything except for EXP. And, oh, I forgot. Uh, if I get some bottles of enchanting. Oh, God, that was really loud and really long. But, as you can hear there, that was a level up sound. And now that sound sounds really familiar if you played with mods before. Because that sounds actually the sound from a wisp from the Thumbcraft mod, if you didn't know. Okay. And now also over here, we have these item frames. Now, these the, these place, p these blocks of wool are increments on how far I can stand from this board without it uh, disappearing. White wool uh, states one. The orange wool, every orange wool you see is two, and every blue wool you see is five. So now let's walk 20 blocks away, which was the old limit that you used to be able to see signs. So this used to be a limit, and if you step back, they don't disappear anymore. And you could go all the way until they, those blocks um, are out of your field of vision. You can still see their little sparkle on those item frames, and they won't uh, disappear from your field of view until you actually, like, get them out of your render distance. Oh, they're so noisy. Let's remove them for a second. And we also have new sounds for the bucket of water. Actually, we have a new sound for the lava. Now, the bucket of water sounds... Let me just scroll down to my update page. Uh, bucket of water sounds will actually be continuous now and have a constant noise the whole time might be a little annoying in your redstone contraptions for like item conveyor belts or something and now to get rid of the confusion I'm just gonna block off that water and now for lava wrong block come on play your sound pop 
like that gurgly sound you're making earlier. There we go. Kind of sounds like you're underwater or really under like a really thick liquid, like molten lava, perhaps. Yeah, that's what that's supposed to sound like. Stop strafing. Okay. Oops. Turn around. Okay, so we can put these guys up now. And now the beacon has changed a little as well. Its beacon texture is actually animated now to do a little spiraling light effect instead of this regular blocky, just straight up beam of light for no absolute reason. And on the texture of the actual block, you can actually see it has these little corners now, indicating weaves, and nothing on the inside has changed at all. Oh, there's my emerald that had it. I mean, blood diamond. Sorry. Okay, and now for the final little thing we have over here. We have new sounds for tools. Now here we have a sheep. Yes, it came out of the egg and it spawned a gray. Or, yeah, gray. And if I right click it, you can hear it has a little snip sound. And same goes for flint and steel. They have a new sound for that as well. It has a little click, like you clang them together. And one little thing, when you're in creative mode, you can actually teleport instantly by running into the net port. So let's go! What? Okay. Oh, I'm purple. Wow, this is an awesome cave generation. Possibly even new. I'm just really low. Okay, time to go back. I hope you like this episode. And go check out the week uh, 38 um, version 1 snapshot on the Minecraft forum website. And I'll see you in the next one.